All righty then. Here we are. We're back. It's Friday. That means Vivian is here. I think. Hello. Oh, okay. There she is. And uh, Fly Fox is here. And he says, is this that new Halo 2 game? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. And Kusmeti is here on time because it's raining up on the mountaintop in West Virginia. Sorry, Kusmeti. But it's sunny and nice here. It's a beautiful day. Ah, <sighs> So, what's going on? Uh, I'm still working on the lady, but I'm very close to finishing her. Okay. I have no idea what I'm going to do, as usual. I should probably pull my tablet closer. Uh, Leon, what's up? Who dares disturb your slumber? Um, you can go back to sleep. It's okay. Unless you're at work, but even then. In trenches here. I was just watching a video on um, how um, some companies might start using uh like uh what is it like brainwave monitoring to see if you're paying attention and working which sounds horrific i don't like that mm -mm. i do not like that no they use it in china because of course they do but uh i i would like to keep my uh my brain waves to me like how does that even work like is the same way they use your brain waves for like a lie detector? That well, kinda. So apparently, like they can monitor attention and things, and it's fed through a AI. <clears throat> and like over time, they can see like, oh well, this this electrical activity is going on in your brain while you're doing this, and and then this, and then they can figure out what you're doing. And then the other thing was is like they can record all that, and then over time, like you know. A decade later, they can, as the AI gets better, they can go back and look at stuff. Like, no, how about no? How about my mind is mine? Uh, I don't know. Do I want to do I don't think I want to live to be like 100. I think I want to, um, <laughs> I don't think I want to live in this world. Sounds like a horrific I, incoming hellscape. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and there was a little uplifting Friday morning trivia for you. <laughs> My cat is uh, plotting. She is sitting on the bed looking at me. Is she going to leap at your head? So my cat uh, does. It's not the first time. Uh, usually she likes to knock over the microphone when I'm using it. So I'm keeping an eye on her. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, let's see. What, what am I doing? Um, I'm going to start drawing. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, switch to here, here. Okay. Sounds like <laughs> Tony. To, oh, that would be horrific. If Tony, when I worked for him, had that technology, I would. Wow. That would be bad. <laughs> I would have been fired. There were times uh, at my old job when I was, I mean, this was like, 2000 <clears throat> that I would do nothing but for eight hours surf the internet because that job sucked but anyway I mean, like also like some people listen to like podcasting while they like you know do their work like I yeah. have a I have a friend who's a friend who's like a security guard at Target and all he does is listen to like DVD podcast while he's like sitting there seeing me for eight hours. Yeah, I mean, what else are you gonna do <laughs> while waiting for someone to steal the, the the good and gather brand of um, pop tarts? Does he actually stop people from stealing things? I would assume so. I've never been to that Target. <laughs> I was at because um, I've never seen anybody. Um, um, at any time, stop someone from going setting off the uh, uh, like the little detector things. Like, they'll walk through sometimes, and like, something will not get either deactivated and it'll, it'll go off. Whoa, there's Vivian is uh, being electrocuted apparently. 
Wow. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, I'm muting that. Oh, there it goes. Can you can you talk now? Can wow, you hear me? Not, there you go. Yeah. Did you die? What happened? I was trying to raise up the volume so you guys can <laughs> hear me better. Well, we what we heard was. Okay, maybe I need to get a new mic. Yeah, that might. Yeah, that might be it. <laughs> that was epic timing, considering the story. <laughs> no one has ever. I, I said. I think I said no one ever uh, set, stopped anybody that set off the thing, and it was like. Bzzz. Yeah, I don't. Anyway, I don't. I think one time I wore red shirt to Target, and they thought I was working there, even though people often mistake me as a child. Oh. <laughs> well, you do look like you're about eleven. I'm. I do. Um. Yeah, I was at uh, Home Depot one time, and uh, a guy like went to the power tool section. I was in line, and um, he picked up something and just walked out. And a guy was following him, um, and saying stuff to him, because he just uh, walked out and got into a car and drove off. And the other guy was like loudly telling everyone he was stealing. No employee did anything. You just walk out with the stuff. I don't recommend doing that. I'm just saying it's possible. It really shows you what's going on now. Like, uh, I don't know, like getting people like nowadays jobs, at least for here, it's still hard to get people to, um, to get the job. Because there's like so low, low employment here. Oh yeah, well I guess um, is it a lot of like college employed college kids and stuff? Or... Yeah. Uh, hey Sean over there on Facebook. I've known Sean forever. Me and Sean and a bunch of us used to watch bad movies. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Employees uh, are forbidden from actually touching and stopping shoplifters. Well, that's good to know. Um, uh, we saw someone put just a bunch of stuff inside of a grill, then just buy the grill. <laughs> wow, that's you know, that's pretty smart, actually. Well, if well, it, well like if you like most of the, I think like the grill and displays, so like they would just give you the box grill instead. No, yeah, so, yeah. So, um, did they did they say, well, we can get you a box? I mean, what did they? How did they stop that? Leon, I need backstory. I need uh, lots of bad movies. Yes, so many bad movies. So many. Hey, me and Siege have a new uh, movie review. We reviewed Croc. It's about a croc, and it was horrible. So everybody should go to Film Flam when this is done and go watch it. <clears throat> I, watched the, I watched the Bean movie last night with my friends. It was a movie. Wh which one? The Bean movie. Oh, the Bean movie. I've never seen that. I've seen lots of Bean movies. Oh, I still need to I'm going to delete what I just did. Y'all can't see it because they're looking at uh, this one, which is looking pretty good. I, I'm having like a mental debate if I want to make it fuzzy shaded because I want her to see that she's glowing or if I want to do cell shading. Um, so I would do what you just did there. Wait, was it cell? Go back. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, the, the more hard, hard light, but if you want to make it glow, there's, mm -hmm. um, so let me, let me pull, let me pull up something. Hang on. Let me find something. An example. <clears throat> the the um, more airbrush kind of shading, I think when you do that, it tends to look more amateurish, unless you do it just right. Mm -hmm. But there's an easier way, a better way to do it. Uh, let me find something. Uh, my brain is so not working today. Uh, okay. Um, let me get. What am I gonna get? Let's get. 
Uh, I'll just get the dude I did last time. That's fine. All right. So if I wanted to make this guy look more glowy, what I would do, and you can do whatever you want to do. I'm just saying my personal preference mm -hmm. is if I do the screen and I get this and I find, uh, okay. So, oh, that's not, there we go. So I would come in and, um, like do the, all this stuff, do the harder lighting. And then after I get like all this kind of situated, I'll make it white. Let's actually make him really glow. So I do all this stuff real fast, blah, 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 blah. Then I would do a, uh, a glow layer on top of that and then get the airbrush on top of that. And just on the outline, just kind of make, give it a little glow here and there. Cause you can go very light and adjust like how intense it is. <clears throat> That's, that's how I, cause it usually light hits, um, it will usually hit pretty solid. And then it's the radiation of the, I don't know if that's the right word, but the spill over that, that's going to glow. I don't know if that makes sense, but no, no, that makes perfect sense. So that way you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the glow, but you also get some hard cuts that tend to make it look sharper <clears throat> okay i think so I, I had two versions of her that i wanted to, or i'm trying to figure out as well because like i asked my classmates and they didn't give me a straight answer if I, if she should be red or um white okay so this is the oh okay. the red look at that underneath her oh Hmm. Um, I would say the red gives it, gives it a nice, uh, pop. Go back to the white. Uh, and do it with the, let me see the shade, the, the shadows too. You have those okay. handy. <clears throat> I think the red because it uh, it really brings her separates her from the throne. Okay. And I think your Thank eye, you. the, the reader's eye, can get lost uh, if the colors are too uh, too close. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can now I can stop overthinking this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Brian, why is everyone else in comics so bad at coloring? <laughs> um, who else are we? No, don't name names, I guess, but I, I don't know. <laughs> Jerkmonger, Elliot, listening to my jazzy music. Elliot, I've called you like twice and you haven't responded. Do you hate me now? Hi, Elliot. I've replaced Elliot with Vivian. Who needs a new mic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's all right. <clears throat> what what kind of mic do you have? Um, a Scarlet Scarlet Studio. Hmm. Scarlet Studio. Mm hmm. Uh, second generation, I think. All right, I'm gonna look that up. Let me see what that is. <clears throat> oh. I know it'd be pretty good, but I guess this one's just reaching its time. I've had it for a while. Interesting. Yeah, that should be. I mean, it's a focus, right? It's pretty good. And, hmm. It's got the XLR cables and everything. Yeah, I don't know. I've got a, yeah. um, the thing I've got is a Line 6 tone port, but it's like, my thing is like, my setup is kind of overkill because I've got a condenser mic with a thing that's made for music, not for podcasting, but I yeah, I have a backup mic. I will find it and I'll use that next time. <laughs> Elliot says I'm gonna call you right now. Okay, do it. Do it, Elliot. I don't even know where my phone is. Where's my phone? There's my phone. But no, yeah, it's kind of funny that um, 
Like, I tried to buy that, um, grill, and they wouldn't even let him buy it from the display. You tried to buy that? You, you kind of, like, you know, you might have a bad cord. Oh, hang on. You know what? I think you're right. I should... I think... I will go find my cord. I will find that later. Um, hello, Elliot? What's up, sucker? What are you doing? I'm trying to work. You're trying to work. What are you working on? Yeah, you know what you're not doing? Now return to my calls, fool. Because I'm sorry, man. It's that you always call me when I'm working. So? You can't talk and work? No, I gotta think when I work. <laughs> <laughs> this is art. You don't think. What are you talking about? This is easy. It's the easiest gig on the planet. <laughs> no, I got graphic design that takes thought. Art. Oh. I can take oh. pictures all day. I understand <laughs> that. I gotta think about that. Oh, all right. Well, am I, am I on? Am I on your show right now? Yes, you are. Hi, Elliot. Um, can you hear Vivian? Oh, I guess you can't if you're asking me that. She says hi. It's hi, okay. Man. I, hi, I do graphic design so, too at college. It's it's not easy. Graphic design is a yeah. whole separate discipline. Yeah, it's it's all about thinking about how how to make things work. Yeah, see, that's where. I don't worry about things working. I mean, look what I draw. <laughs> Have you seen my art? <laughs> Have you seen my art lately? It's all trash. Listen. Huh. I I thought I was going to get a Heroes, but it looks like I'm not. Oh. Or I may not. If I go, it's going to be as a... I'm just going to visit. I don't have a table. Oh, so you're going to hang out with me at my table? Well, actually... What are you doing Friday evening, June 9th? Uh, well, well, let me check my calendar. Oh, I don't plan that far ahead. Nothing. What are you doing? Yes, you do. It's for this for June 9th, you will have. What? What's Joe Fest? Oh, Joe Fest. Yeah. I'll be at Joe Fest. Yeah. That's what. Guess what? You're going to Joe Fest? Me and Felix. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> that's the best news I've got all year. Come on now. Come on. Sweet. Uh huh. Afternoon, or whatever. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna whisk you away for some, some meal time after the show. Yeah, yeah. Because you have a Friday show, right? Yeah, uh, I think so. And then, and then we're gonna hang out on Saturday, and then we're gonna head back Saturday afternoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I guess I'm, I'm not tabling, so I'm just gonna show up. Okay. It's awesome. I'm excited, bro. I am too. I'm excited I to see you. I hadn't seen you. When was the last time I saw you? 2021? Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably three, three alien virus. Uh, I think I saw you right after I had COVID. Yeah, yeah, so it was during the alien virus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Awesome. That's, that's great. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, yeah, we were gonna do. Uh, we, we may still do heroes. Cause that's the following week, but I, 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 I don't. They haven't approved us on a table or anything, so we're gonna just go ahead and maybe just show up. I, I, I'm not sure yet. I'm planning on that, but I, I want to do that for uh, just because love. <laughs> but um, but Joe's bad is gonna be my Father's Day gift. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah so we, uh, Felix and I, he, we were trying to figure out. We try to figure out we should dress up as a if I should get him a COVID commander head helmet. Oh yeah. But oh, I want to so bad, but those are not cheap helmets. No, and, and, and to, like they're not cheap and then you'd paint it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh oh yeah, okay. So anyway, um yeah, I got I gotta get going here shortly, but I have a uh, yeah, I have a I told you I have that that, that daytime gig now. Uh is that the graphic yeah. design thing? Yeah, yeah, it takes up, it takes up all week. I got you. So I just keep forgetting to call you on the weekend. Okay. Well, I figured I'd interrupt your show right now. Okay. Well, thank you. To yeah. drop, drop some, uh, drop a, a bomb of uh, good news. Thank you. See, I'm excited, bro. It's gonna be. Okay, <laughs> I got the chills. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, yeah. listen, I'm gonna get back am to the I show. Huh? Am I, am I phone voicing 
on the on the on the channel? Do I sound like I'm calling from beyond? Yeah, I'm sure you do. He you're does. On my, yeah, yeah. Vivian says you do. You sound like uh, you know okay. you're in the ether. We need we need to have a uh, we need to have a uh, uh, another paranormals. We just need to do one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Felix suggested we do it from there. I'm like, Felix, that's a lot of work, man. <laughs> to just do it spontaneously over dinner. You know, from the, from the, from the, from we can do. We can do something. <laughs> we'll make something happen. We can. We can do a little short. We got to bring that yeah, back. Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. All right. <laughs> Jeff says, oh, Jeff hey, says don't go to the light, uh, Elliot. Other than that, I'll be. Uh, I think I'm doing MegaCon next week. Though. Oh, okay. I'm not I'm doing that. Jeff Pot says, "Don't go to the light." Yeah, I saw that. Um, uh, yeah. So I haven't done MegaCon in like ten years. Maybe one day I'll right, return. The only, these are the only shows I do now, like Tampa and Mega. Mm-hmm. And uh, but right now I'm I'm getting a, I'm really deep in this one company. I was kind of hoping they would hire me on permanent because I'd rather have a salary and just say I'm taking time off than. I got to make up time on the weekend for just mm-hmm. a little stupid convention. I hate comics. <laughs> comics is nothing but happiness. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's like Mickey Mouse. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bye, Biker. Uh. Anyway, um, well, we are, and, and now well, I got more to talk to you about, but can I, can I call you tonight? Uh, Yeah. All right, cool, because I got some other thoughts I wanted to share with you, see what you think. Okay, cool. All right. Brother, I love you, man. Sorry right. I haven't called you back. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, okay. We'll see if you call me back again tonight, and then we'll see. We'll see. You know what, sucker? You know, sucker, I just called you just now. <laughs> it's because I called you out in front of everybody. No, no. I, I, I came on here looking for you. I was like, let me see if he's on. I was hoping you weren't on, so I could just have a normal conversation with you. <laughs> <laughs> but as usual, my life is, is on display for everyone to pay attention to. That's right. Anyway. Okay. Oh, well. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my show now. All right, all right, man. See you. Is it, is it Vivian? Yes, Vivian. Is she still there? Yeah, she's here. I'm here. Yeah. Bye, Vivian. Bye. <laughs> all right, man. I gotta all right, go. later. later. It was Elliot. Elliot actually called me back. Somebody named Brandy Owen is on Facebook. That's, that's my mom. <laughs> Look, it's Vivian's mom, everybody. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, does Elliot know that I got mauled by a bear for the Paranormals Institute? I'm sure he cares. <laughs> okay. So uh, I guess I should share my screen. I just started drawing an old dude. Oh, He's a, he looks amazing, though. I want to make him weird. He looks too normal. Give him mm. a third eye. Oh, okay. I'm into making my art look really bizarre lately. I'll be right back. My cat has put my socks in her water bowl. Uh- <laughs> Tiny hat. Well, I could do a tiny hat, but that's like, um, you know. So I like your latest. My, um, uh, I think the people like weird stuff. Weird stuff has a broader audience than, um, Transformers. And I gotta drink this coffee before it goes cold. Most likely, Elliot's going to pitch the three Dean Cain's movie. <laughs> Give him cornrows. <laughs> I'll see how that would look. Oh, come on, computer. Why are you lagging? You're a brand new computer. Okay, so... My cat, she has a habit of 
trying a new dish by putting things in her bowl saying she's done and she wants a new one. Ah. Uh, okay, has has done that before. <laughs> this chat is mostly mods. <laughs> We have on bottom Chad. Vivian just got a new computer. Now, well, now she needs, needs a new mic cord. It was, yep. It was a battle. <clears throat> Ask her what her superpower is. What is your superpower? Oh, I just break technology no matter if I'm just close to it or I'm just touching it. So, like, you're generating electricity and you short everything out? Pretty much. Well, that will it come in happens. handy when they they put the uh, brain monitoring stuff on you. You know, yeah, you know, I'll, yep. So you have an advantage. Brain monitor just explodes. <laughs> it just doesn't work. They're like, this person is dead. They're not even alive. I'm just imagining, like, hmm. Why is this not working? Oh. Every day I have to like go fight a printer and that printer won't work. It's got another printer and other and another. And there's like four printers in the art building. Oh, that's just college. I remember those days. And I have to start printing my, um, my art pieces for my, I'm having an art show. At the end of the in, at the beginning of May. <clears throat> okay, wait a minute. Your mom says you caught one on fire once. Yeah. What it? A, you caught a computer on fire. A uh, printer. A printer. How? How do you catch it a was printer? A, it was a laser printer. Okay. <laughs> what did you crank okay. up the wattage? What? <laughs> no, I listen. Okay. So I was, we were making foam, foam sculptures and we were putting them up. She wanted us to learn how to use the laser printer um, to, to put them up. Pro first problem, this teacher knows nothing about sculpting. All she does is paper mache for one. Okay. And for two, um, probably very flammable. <laughs> All right. And they told me the printer crashing on fire is a one out of a hundred chance. It's only right. happened once. Well, now it tiny fires twice. are normal, but big fires are very rare. Seems like a good idea. And they and you're not allowed to use the fire extinguisher. Well, well how do you put it out? Um, it costs more to. I don't know. They told me <laughs> it just breaks the printer, and it costs more to fix it than to catch on fire. The fire doesn't break the printer. I don't know. This is college. This is art college teachers. <laughs> you talk to them about this. I'm getting up trying to understand this. <laughs> art college teachers clearly do not understand technology. <laughs> and so so um, it was Saturday morning. There was a person in there helping me. Um, they made sure I had all the settings right and it worked right the first time. Small fires happened. I had to blow them out a couple times. <laughs> then they said they had to, they wanted to go on their lunch break, but they told me to keep continuing. <laughs> okay. They said, that's, and when they left, that's when problems started. Now this printer may catch on fire. See, that's, that's like <laughs> only in college. That's the, <laughs> Now, this may be a little radioactive. And so, like, small fire started appearing. You know, you open the top to turn it off and you blow it out. <laughs> or you, you fan it into a larger flame. And so, what happened was, I just kept blowing it out. Tiny fires kept happening and I just let it cool down for a little bit before restarting. And then, all of a sudden, it just erupted into, like, a big flame and me blowing it didn't help. Well, it probably helped. That's what they told me. Literally, is to blow on the fire if it happens. <laughs> What's okay. upsetting? Anyway, I run into the hallway. 
I'm, I'm looking for an Illumini, like, hey, do you know you use, how to use the laser printer? Yeah, it's on fire. And like, yeah, right, it's just a tiny fire. It's okay, go back in there. And I'm like, no, it's a fire. And they're like, kid, it's fine. And I'm like, no, it's not. And I go, you drag the Illumini, and they're like, oh god. And I'm like, yes, help me. <laughs> Uh, and so we ran into the fire and threw my project in the sink. Okay. Was and the uh, okay? for the rest of the day, I cut my project by hand. <laughs> How was the printer? Does it still work? Do they still have it? It's still fine, yeah. Oh, <laughs> ironically, I ironically used it this year and it didn't catch on fire. What? Now, what kind of printer is this? So it's a laser printer. It um like, laser cuts things like oh, okay. wood, metal. Oh. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Oh. Or it engraves things like you engrave your yeah, name, Brian okay. Shear, on like a wooden plaque. Okay. <laughs> I used it this year to make a book cover. Um, it did not catch on fire because it was much thicker material. <clears throat> like I'm, I'm thinking like whatever brand this is should make more things that can catch on fire and be fine. Oh, laser cutter. Thank you. Laser cutter. Uh, Cam coming in here with the terminology. You know, rumors are spreading that a student can just blow printers came around the school. From that day. I've never used a laser cutter. Oh, let's see, what else do I want to add to this guy? Um, you know what's funny? I, I used it again this year and I was making a book cover. And some random guy came in and he's like, are you allowed to use this printer? And I said, as far as I know, yeah. And he's like, We're, like do you, did you schedule a time or something? Like, no. And so I got scared that I was using the printer wrong. He's like, should it be smoking like that? I'm like, it is cutting wood. <laughs> Clearly, this guy's never used a laser printer. The way, he... anyway. <laughs> the um, the guy who's in charge of the printers, like, yeah, she can use it. All students are allowed to use the printer. Leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> this man was just uh, <laughs> Cam says, just say stop mansplaining. That's more like man questioning isn't it and that 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 guy was a security guard at target no he was a student <clears throat> i really have never seen security guards in in the art building nobody cares about art nobody's gonna steal art well the thing is the art building is probably the most dangerous place on campus because we have like laser cutters uh, vacuum changers for spray painting and lots of sharp knives to cut art and carve. That's why they don't want to be in there. They don't get paid enough. All I'm going to say is our students are heavily equipped with um, dangerous art tools. <clears throat> don't keep keep me. This is a formula. <laughs> don't keep, keep, keep me, fella. It's a formula for disaster. Art art students with sharp things um, and chemicals if you're the right kind of artist. Uh, well, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what. Yeah, in graphic design, they'll judge you for like the number one rule in graphic design is to never, to never, what's the word? Uh, to never use sans or papyrus, comic sans. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a. <laughs> I think at this point, every everybody on Earth, uh, that's kind of a well-known rule. Although I did, what did I see? Papyrus recently. Oh, I think, I think the movie Croc actually used something very close, if not that, for its title. Which I was surprised. <clears throat> uh, most dangerous thing in the art school is the students. Uh, for like graphic design like other <clears throat> like me and my classmates they're very precise about their critiques and they're like this is wrong this is wrong this is how I, this is how i suggest you fix it 
and like they can like at least in Minecraft they can tell if you're like a few points off and it's not centered. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Spoopy. Um when I was doing like um some graphic design design stuff like a long time ago <laughs> and you I would have to you get people from like a company to come in and sometimes they would say we want to sit with you while you lay this out and that's like the worst scenario of you could possibly endure <clears throat> because what will happen is like there will be um people trying to justify the fact that they're sitting there and um i remember one time i was doing i don't know it's like gonna be a slideshow for like some huge presentation in a convention center said so like this screen was gonna be huge and they had me like moving things literally one pixel to the left and right back and forth to see which one they liked more centered and i'm like it's a pixel and it's going to be like two stories taught nobody's going to know but i can't say that i just have to keep going back forth back and forth until they felt happy. yeah a graphic design well a normal person wouldn't notice it but a graphic designer would I, I know from experience. I've tried hiding things. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I would not be good. I'd, I'd, especially at this point. I'm too... Can... Oh. I'm too, uh, I'm used to doing my own thing now. Graphic design can feel like the most dangerous game. Uh, I'm trying it to figure is... out... Uh, I'm trying to figure out what brush. Keep going. I'm trying to figure out what brush I want to use here. You're good. No, it. it I find it a little bit intimidating because, like, graphic designs are always so like specific, and they want like a. It's a lot of pressure because, like, if you don't meet it to their standards, you're like, nah, to you. <clears throat> are these other students or are these teachers? Mostly students. Have they ever done a graphic design for like somebody before outside of the school? they have um a good chunk of the well no actually not all of them have but none of them know how to illustrate uh yeah that's not surprising otherwise they would be trying to be illustrators unless you're elliot and then elliot knows Very yeah, because most like I, I'll I'll see them, like take logos from like, not like from other artists, but like from like free that have like royalty free stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't. So are they just like using it for? They're using it for class because it's um if you do it stuff at like my college there's like a, it's like a college domain thing. So like, mm -hmm. cause we're not using it for profit, so we're fine. But they're probably gonna have to hire real illustrators to do their logos if they need them. <clears throat> oh, Elliot is still here, huh? Hey, how Elliot. Many, how many do comics? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I'll ask them. What is my computer? Come here. Come over here. What are you doing? Well, that is a... I don't like that either. Goodbye. Well, there's this right. one guy who was applying a job at my university. He spelled one letter wrong on his poster. And mm -hmm. everyone, like, judged him very badly because of it. Oh. <laughs> it's like music departments are the same way. <clears throat> oh, was taking some music theory classes in college and there's lots of egos in art and music and, and things all right i'm just gonna like be sketchy with this i'm not how does it work in at least in my art college is the teacher gives like a presentation and the students and the teachers have to like think they're good enough it's only the students who come to the um 
so the presentation can do that. Mom's really short, we only have like one new teacher, but she's pretty nice. I like her. <clears throat> I don't I never took any art classes in college. I don't even know if I don't even know if there was I guess there was an illustration class. Maybe. I don't know. Comics was not a uh, very well thought of thing back in the day. Yeah. That's okay. Like here, I'm um, like, I I wanted to get into like comic books and stuff. Ironically, coming to college. Mm-hmm. I'm getting a knife. Uh oh. So I can open up. I realize we have this extra cord, but it, I need a knife to open it. But no, um, all the. I will look somewhere else for next, but um, long story short, the teacher, he promised he'd teach me, like, anim- you know, not animation, but, like, concept art and um, visual development, because that's what I originally came there to do. Mm-hmm. And all he's been doing is giving us art prompts, and he actually isn't teaching us any techniques, no matter how many times I've asked him. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> you know, which is why I've been looking at other colleges for a master's degree. Like, in, he's not like teaching. concept stuff or yeah for like games and movies and like he most teachers like the graphic design program they'll hook you with connections when you graduate so you know where to get a job he mm -hmm. doesn't do any of that the illustration teachers well, what does he do he just tells you to do art prompts and expects you to he says, uh, I do not help with jobs, and that is the student's job. <laughs> okay, well. And, like, all he taught was editorial stuff. And one concept art. <clears throat> Sorry, I was just catching up on Twitter, in which I shall I shove this rusty pipe. There's where you went wrong. Don't go on Twitter. Yep. Sorry, but that is just um, my problem with school right now. Uh, yeah. The uh, so does this a teacher? Does he like do anything else? Like, is he just like? Nope. Oh. I've asked him multiple times, but he's just, he says he will, but he doesn't. So you're getting your money's and, worth. And my in my senior year, I asked him because I, I wanted to, so we get to do pick our five project we want, and he said. Um, and he's like, Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. You're a graphic designer. And if I teach you this stuff, this wouldn't be fair to your other classmates. So I think you should take another class that teaches you this stuff. But guess what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> There's no class in the world that teaches that. This guy just doesn't want to work. And it says in the illustration concentration that they teach you visual development. Lies. <clears throat> well, welcome to welcome to the real world. That's the way it is everywhere. <laughs> you know, he's told classmates to drop the concentration, and he's been super hard on them. He's been hard on me. Like he'll constantly tell me to redo my project for no reason. He won't give up. Like he's like, I don't like this. You're like, I don't like you. I don't like him either. No, I mean, he's been... <sighs> I'm a special needs student. I'm dyslexic. So he gives us, like, assignments sometimes that are written out. And I'm like... And he keeps getting upset that I don't under... I don't get the assignments right. And I'm like, maybe you need to read them out to me. And he's like, you need a, and he's like, you need a tutor in art. And I'm like, okay. 
Thanks. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's right, Cam. You, you say, I don't like your face. I don't like his face either. You know what? He's not even going to show up to my art show. What? <laughs> it sounds like he, he get, took this job just to get a job. And he's he's probably, uh, I don't know. I think some college uh, professors make sure their uh, their job is as cushy as possible. I mean, well, that's everywhere, but... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, this is. I was looking at a different college, and I did some tours at them. It's a lot closer to home. <clears throat> um, is it okay to say what college it is, or would you rather me text it to you later? Uh, just tell me later. Don't tell okay. these people. Don't tell the I internet. I don't. I won't tell the internet. Um, but yeah, uh, they um they told me yeah okay if you do if you do do a master's degree here. And they even do this for students who aren't doing a master's degree. They'll help them get a job when they graduate. They have like a 90% success rate. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to transfer here. And I'm like, thank you. Because I did go there for their summer camp before I went to my current college. Mm -hmm. I like the teachers a lot better there. Sorry, as you can tell, I'm very salty. <laughs> That's okay. College what, very, salty. Yeah, what, what confuses me about this man is that he lives two hours from the school and he has to drive two hours to get there every day. So I'm like, where are you getting the money for gas? Um, well, he must be getting paid less. Some, some college professors get paid pretty good. <clears throat> the reason why he's not coming to the art show is because his wife needs to go to Africa, and I think she's he's coming with her. Okay. With their baby. Hmm. Huh. Well. I mean, good for him again an early vacation, but why does it have to be in the middle of the art show? <clears throat> yeah, I... The, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ellie says, this guy's third eye couldn't pass the guy exam. And Vivian's teacher sucks. Yep. <clears throat> so yeah, this is a Vivian's college drama. I'm glad I am not in college. Yeah, I've noticed like teachers are very enthusiastic, like during your three years, but as soon as you hit senior year, they kind of get lazy. Um. Well, yeah, <laughs> they're like he's. You're like oh there don't worry about them um yeah his view this job would be great if not for all these students <clears throat> yeah pretty much yeah this guy's third eye is uh did not doesn't have great vision Right, let me go back and see what's going on over here with the red. I have my cord. I just need to cut it open. Not open, but like the packaging that's in. Yeah, don't cut the cord. But yeah, as my mom would say, he's a wiener schnitzel. <laughs> he, uh... You'll always remember him. I'm sorry. Yep. Graduation be like, I like to thank my teachers, except that one walks off stage. I'd like to thank all my teachers, except one, uh, you know who you are. Fly Fox says, my boss's boss, his boss decided he wants to work uh, from our location day, so I had to get in my work vehicle and find somewhere else to draw. You are not going to survive the uh, the brain scan. Just bring me over and they'll just uh, I'll explode the brain scanner. Why is this brain scan not working? No one can sit next to Vivian. 
You know, there was times where I'd walked into the, um, I walked into a building and someone says, the printer was working just fine a minute ago, what happened? And I'm like, I, didn't, I, I don't say anything, I just sit down. Are you generating like your own, like, EMP field? Or it's just like... Surprised. Scientifically, I'm, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Do you have uh like can you hear radio waves without without mm. a radio? <clears throat> Sadly no. <laughs> now what that would explain my song for a second in my head though. Fly hugs thank god, I work for the government. Oh, let's see. I need to make this guy weirder. I guess his head's just gonna, he's just a floating head. Oh man. But hey, it's gonna be like 80 degrees today. Oh yeah. You know, I'm excited. I love, I love the warmth. Sunny. It's gonna be hard to work this afternoon. That's what happens when you work at home with no brain scan monitoring. It's like, man, I could just walk outside and go hang out outside. <laughs> the private I, I applied for a um an internship and they're hybrid. And I'm hoping they'll let me work from home because having to move to California for just the summer is a lot of money. Oh, hang on. My mom is calling. Oh, okay. How's your day, chat? I will try my best. Um, but yeah, Voltron, the same thing happened to me, but with, um, headphones. They would always break until I started using wireless headphones. Okay, that was actually my son saying that he had early dismissal from school and uh he's oh. com coming over here to get shorts because he's hot <laughs> he stays with my mom who lives around the corner okay so it was very important clearly uh and you sound very important uh let's see everybody's gone no i'm back now oh look trestle Disliked, unsubscribed, unshared, unfriended, unsaved, unsipped. I would expect absolutely Gosh. nothing less. Tressla. Uh, Tressel is one of the uh, the few people in the chat I've met in person. Let's see, I've met Tressel. Who else have I met? Um, Elliot doesn't count. Your mom doesn't count. I met anybody else? I mean, have I met any of you fools in person? Um, Zippy. I've met. Why did Trestle give you such a gift? <laughs> That's right, Cam. We haven't met, but we do and have all the same things. Weirdly, we have the same pocket knives, the same, didn't we have the same watch for a while or something? Discord video chat that went to, oh, well, yeah, the video chat on the, on the Discord, there's that. All right. Okay, I'm going to go grab a knife. Oh, you're back. <clears throat> she grabs a knife i will ink this guy's monocle <laughs> yeah you live close that that that's a real world boss called gave me permission to go into the office and do nothing <laughs> what <laughs> I switch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sean. 
Voltron Hoovian. I, 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 I didn't read the, if I saw Hoovian, I would have known. I see, <laughs> oh, there's my son. He's going to knock on the back door, get his shorts. That's why the dog is barking. Uh, I'm going to wait till he knocks. I'm not getting up till I have to. Kid. That bark is uh, the bark he reserves for familiar people, by the way. He recognizes my mom's car. Um, uh, hello? What you? Okay, hang on. I have to go. If Vivian comes back, tell her where I went. I have to go open the door and get him past some bees, apparently. Hold on. No, he doesn't have a key. I, he'd probably lose it. All right, hang on. All right. Oh, I'm crying out loud. I'm crying out loud. in the chat they can hear you how scared you are of the carpenter bees in the front why do you know they were carpenter bees i told you go get your stuff gosh you're such a scaredy cat i told you what they were oh, good grief yeah <laughs> killer bees they're carpenting nose whoa that didn't work. Work, damn it. Are you there? Hello? Hello? Okay. <laughs> I do too. But, you know, we're working on the B thing. Well, that, that maybe it wasn't the cord. Yeah. Nope. Okay. I, th I think. Nope. I can hear me oh, just shit. fine. <laughs> Cheese it now. What's up? Vivian, don't go into the light. <laughs> Vivian is now in the ether. Oh! Maybe turn it. May try turning it down a little bit. I don't know. I don't think. It, maybe it is the mic. Yeah, my son ruined your mic. <laughs> How's that? That's, well, hey, that's better. It's, 
it's so, very it's very soft but at least it's not it doesn't sound like they're being electrocuted Oh yeah, I downloaded, I, I heard the I downloaded the, the, the this is an album, I thought it would. Oh, okay, what, are you done? What, what, what are you doing? Hi. Hi. Bye. bye. Tell everybody hi and bye. Hi, bye. <laughs> Good butt, go. Get your shoes and go. What, what's that menu? Yeah, got it. Yeah. Bye. See ya. See you later. Go. Good to see you. I'm glad you stopped by. Now leave. Nanny's out there waiting in the car. Magic word. Please. Is that is that the yeah. magic word? Yes and no. Oh. Please and no. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Hi and bye. <laughs> Is that little sheer? Yep. He's uh, getting his shoes on slowly. Four, 15, 12, last three years. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure they care. Yeah. And don't don't scream when you. I didn't know they were carpenter. Bees. I told you they were carpenter bees. I saw a stinger on one of them. No, you didn't. Forgive me for my ignorance. Carpenter bees? Do they not have stingers? No, they don't. They they won't mess with you. They won't. They will not mess with you. Which is why that was ridiculous. Oh, was he scared of them? Yes, he is terrified of bees. Uh, how does he have dogs now? Oh, he's fine with dogs. Okay. Now that he's bigger. He was shorter then. All right. They, yeah, they have no stingers, but they will. They are eating my house. They are. Uh, there's actually one under the front door that's tearing my threshold to pieces. I get out there with uh, a tennis racket and smack them, but they just keep coming. Okay, can you hear yourself still? I tried lowering it down. Um, I can hear you. I can't hear myself. Okay, good. All right, so what what were you saying you downloaded before I get interrupted by an 11-year-old? <laughs> um, this, but it's not very useful like I thought it would be. What is it? It's a glowy brush. Oh. Yeah, the... Uh, Brushes like that for effects are hit or miss. Oh, I have a favorite brush set. Her and um, the person that makes it, it's called Jean Chef. Jean, Jean Sketch. Oh, I don't know. Originally, this was made for photo, uh, Procreate, but I was able to transfer it to oh. the paint. Does it work um, as well? Uh, pretty close. Oh, Brian, how do you do you use TikTok at all? Um, no, I don't. Okay. I asked because my dad's obsessed with it right now, and he won't stop sending me TikToks. I was on, I had TikTok, um, before, well, like for five seconds and then I got off of there and, uh, now they're talking about banning TikTok because of, of the China. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I keep forgetting TikTok is owned by China. Well, I was reading the article the other day and it said that, um, if you go to China, um, they, uh, like they restrict your 
kids access to it from like six at night till the next morning. And the algorithm pushes mainly like educational stuff, but over here, they don't do that. Um, which I think is kind of on purpose. And, uh, they log your keystrokes too. It's spyware. I'm going to say it. All TikTok's going to learn about me is that I like anime. <laughs> just uh yeah and, and any like entertaining tiktok uh i'll see it when it comes to youtube kind of on purpose yeah. over here we get cringe yeah china <clears throat> some coloring in this dude here let's give him a Look at that man in his monocle. His third eye needs a monocle. His magical eye that sees into the future, but he wears the monocle so that he cannot see into the future because it gets really distracting. That's his story. <clears throat> I just decided. takes it off when he needs to have a little advantage. That is on the run. Invading <clears throat> the living room. No one is safe. Sorry. Uh, she just tried to me for a minute. She wanted out. The chat went quiet. What happened? Where'd they go? Oh. Uh, come back when all on uh, TikTok. Yeah. yeah. China. Hey, I haven't saved this at all. I should save it. Huh? Uh, save as uh, mono. Come on. Come on keyboard catch up mono cal his name is cal and he wears a monocle ha get it where'd my mouse go what are you doing computer not responding sure why not there we go leon got distracted by snacks okay i get to shut up a snack too i'm gonna get distracted by lunch here in a minute yeah, I need to get some lunch after this, too. All right, let's make this a little for the chain. Let's give him, give him green eyes. Uh, let's see. Let's give his, make his hair like bluish. What am I going to have for lunch? Hmm. What are you in the mood for? Uh, that's a good question. Whatever is easy, I think. Okay, Smitty says one hour to breakfast you know I think that uh, my mom took uh, took him to cook out for lunch and they did not even ask if I wanted anything I get no, no love could you, like, could you like call her and ask her no, if they're here, they're uh, they're back at the house. They're they're done. It's okay. What we don't see is his third ear on the back of his neck. It's true. That's he he sees into the future, but he hears into the past. <clears throat> That's why he has to have the monocle to to drown out the 
the information. Ah, uh, he's like Gojo from an anime character. He's an anime character. Oh, see, these references I don't get. They would love you more if you let them have keys. It's okay. So Gojo, he's like a long story short. Basically, it's like a supernatural exercising curses and demons kind of show. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, Gojo, is, he's basically a, a, an albino guy. And he has to wear a, bl a blindfold because he like perceives too much. And it gives him like a sensory overload every time if he's not wearing the blindfold. What is, is, is that the name of the, uh, the anime? Oh, it's called, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, see, Leon, yeah, you would know, wouldn't you? Oh, Zippy says, since I'm new here, please tell me who's Vivian. Uh, Vivian, explain yourself again. <laughs> since I'm new here, please tell me who, oh, I am Brian's friend. Um, I've known him since I was like 15. I would used to bother him. Not bother, I used to talk to him at cons about art tips and transformers at cons. Like whenever I go to a con, I specifically would seek Brian out and wacky. And then, you know, we found out we lived in the same town. And so we've become friends ever since then. And now she's getting ready to graduate college. And I've been using Brian's art techniques in a lot of my work, actually. So she is uh, the next generation I've infected with my nonsense. <laughs> Stalker confirmed. Got it. You know, my mom says the same thing. <clears throat> I like to think I'm better than a stalker. Stalkers usually hang out in the bushes, though. That is true. <laughs> the show is now called Everyone Loves Brian. <clears throat> so, um, if, you know, if Elliot comes to Heroes Con, that should become Shearer Con. We can all, uh, if anybody's going to be at Heroes Con, we can all meet up. I'm definitely going to Heroes Con. I haven't been in... This will be the first year in four years? Yeah, it's been a minute. Because, well, COVID messed everything up. And uh, then last year, Joe Fest was the same weekend. So, Modelo Con. <laughs> is it FDA? No, the FDA is still not approved this uh, live stream. Fly Fox says, my job is so necessary to the function of the state government. They told me not to do it and go sit in an office to tell people that someone else will come later that can help them. Whereas oh. Heroes Con, Heroes Con is in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. It's a good oh, show. Uh, do you remember Michael, the, the guy with the cowboy hat? Uh, Yes. Okay. Like Michael Watkins. He doesn't wear the cowboy hat anymore. Yeah. He doesn't, I know. Um, but Here's you want to hear a funny story? Yes. If it's okay, about Michael. So Michael was in our hometown. And mm -hmm. so he said he wanted to meet up at a shop, like at a cafe. And um and so I met with him and his friend and we were like drinking like coffee or something. And so um there's this teacher who went to my school. He's not my teacher. But he knows of my existence, and I know of his existence because he like works with my teach my other teacher. Mm -hmm. So me and Michael, we were like eating with his friend, and he's like, "Oh, hi, Vivian. Are these your dads?" <laughs> <laughs> and he he went along with it, didn't he? Yeah, Michael went along with it, but the guy next to him wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom was sitting there laughing because she was like right behind us in a different chair. Yeah, I, I could see that. That's like something, a situation uh, he would love to happen. And so he could just go with the flow. <clears throat> Kismeti should come to Heroes Con. 
Everyone come yeah, to Heroes Con. Right. We'll we'll hang out uh, at the Westin or the Hilton. There's two hotels right there. <clears throat> I need to check where I'm staying at this time. I guess I should need. I need to look into a hotel. I usually go down a day early. Me and Chris go down. It's like. At this point, me and my dad, we still go together. Um, we have to, like, make our rooms way in advance. Yeah, the, it fills up pretty quick. It's closer than um, I feel like it is. I guess April. Well, it's really, April's almost here. So really May. Gosh, well, it's really only, like, just over two months away. Holy crap. I got to get on that. Yeah, like I gotta start printing my art piece. I gotta print like eight art pieces this month, and I gotta get them shipped off to get for, uh, matted for the art show. And that's just for one art show. I have two art shows. And well, that's like by May, right? Because school's over in May, isn't it? Yeah, and both of them happen around the end of. One happens at the end of April, and the other one happens at the beginning of May. Uh, well, Trestle would go if you had money. Um, that would be a long way for Trestle to go. Trestle did drive through here. Um, your dad it's says okay. hello. It's okay, Trestle. You don't have to go that far. Uh, <laughs> this rate, Brian will be staying at the local men's shelter at the downtown YMCA. Oh, weird question. Have you guys ever talked about Mothman and Paranormals? Um, I don't think we have, although we have talked about it, like, not on, on the stream. Um, we're, uh, Chris wants to go to the Mothman Museum, and I thought about making it a, uh, um, like a little episode thing. Which that is, is a life goal of mine to see the Mothman Museum. Point Pleasant, isn't that it? Like I've heard, the statue has a has an interesting feature. Oh, uh, it really? The, the butt. It has a big butt. <laughs> well, it's a moth. It's a Mothman, of course. Well, like okay, I wouldn't imagine a Mothman having a big butt though. <laughs> Uh, we don't need people thinking you and Chris are homeless because you're living at the YMCA. <laughs> they already think Chris is, uh, Chris is homeless. I have to explain Chris a lot. Like, who is Chris? Why does he, all yeah, like, everybody knows he always comes to shows with me. <clears throat> it's like, that's how I get him out of the, out of his house. He just, he doesn't do anything else. You know, no one still has bought the rights to the Transformer comics. Nobody has it? No one. Not that I... Not publicly, not at least. Um... Hmm. I thought they, somebody had G.I. Joe. I just assumed that if somebody had G.I. Joe, they would also have gotten the other Hasbro stuff. But maybe not. And the IDW's stock has tanked. Quick, buy the rights. Um, it, I don't have that kind of money. Isn't the Mothman in your neck of the woods? It is. It's pretty close. I, I'll in sometimes in August I'll do uh, the Pikeville, Kentucky show, and I thought eh, that we might swing by on the way up one year. If you find Mothman, take a selfie for me. I will. be the last thing I ever take if it if he kills me um and now I'll, I'll be sure to get a picture just to confirm if the statue is is a is a accurate representation make the transformers gunship thunder punch crossover we've been waiting for <laughs> hey this is the point where I play my uh my gunship thunder punch animated bumper 
because if I don't play it, what was the point of spending a week animating it? Everybody hold on to the volume. Your ears are getting ready to get blown by awesome sauce. One week, everybody, one week, one week of work. Thank you. <laughs> Mothman will appreciate it if you use the flash. Yeah, he will. You know, it's like I'm turning it up. All right, what am I gonna do? What I tried Googling it. Hmm? I tried Googling how much the worth of comics rights were and I couldn't find anything. Yeah, that that's um I don't think that would be like public. I have no idea how much it would cost to do something like that. I need to look for like uh, public things that are about to lapse in the public domain and snatch them up. Let's see what was uh, something was going into the public domain this year. I can't remember what it was. Um, I think, well, actually, I think all of the Sherlock Holmes stories, the last of them. Well, Winnie the Pooh, that's already public domain. That's why everybody's making Winnie the Pooh horror movies. Oh, uh, I forgot that was a thing. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, it's going to book me. I got to look it up. Let's see, public domain in 2023. Uh, da, 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 da. what will enter the public domain? Um, works by people who died in 1952. Oh, okay, works by people who died in 1952. Okay, hold on. I need what? I need a list. A list, not what is this? The worst website ever. Um, give me a list. Give me a list. Oh, Metropolis. That's going in the. It's a, I guess that's a hundred years old. Um, Casebook of Sherlock Holmes. Yes. Uh, la, 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 la. Um, well, <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Um, leave that. Something about Mickey Mouse. You know, they're not going to let Mickey Mouse go public domain, but. Um, you no, know, Disney would never let Mickey become public because aren't they, isn't he like their logo? Yeah. So, what happened? So, that, this article I'm reading, I'm like streaming through. It looks like <laughs> the way they're getting around it is the original Mickey Mouse from Steamboat Willie way back in the day has the, he doesn't look like that anymore. So I think they're copywriting the way he's like later versions. Yes, mm -hmm. that's it. The original iteration enters the public domain from Steamboat Willie, but the current version, because they recopyrighted it, um, is still copyrighted. Trickery is what that is. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, yes. Oh, notable films. Okay, Metropolis, uh, The Jazz Singer. Uh, what? It that cannot be the same. It that is uh yeah, there are a bunch of stuff from the twenties. Tarzan and the Golden Lion, Uncle Tom's Cabin, uh, notable books. Let's see, Casebook, uh, Winnie the Pooh, um, some Hardy Boys. So get ready for a crap ton of uh um movies and books that will um be versions of music okay um uh nothing great yeah metropolis <clears throat> I guess in uh, 10 more years or so, 
Uh, well, in the next decade, uh, Wizard of Oz will be in the public domain. If not Isn't already. That crazy? I think that it's going to be in public domain. It's going to be almost 100 years old. Yeah. It is almost 100 years old. It was 1930 something. Transformers came out in the 80s. Does that mean it's almost 100 too? What did? Transformers. They came out in the 80s. Oh, yeah, so that, that, that still got, uh, uh, when would that, when would Transformers go public domain? <laughs> uh, is it 70 years? Wait, it's, uh, I don't know. A while. I'll be dead. Ste <laughs> Steamboat Willie meets Gunship Thunder Punch. I would watch that. I need to uh, exploit some of this public domain stuff. I, I need, need to have a stream where we draw the Steamboat Willie Mickey just to spite um, Disney. Oh yeah, Disney had their 50th anniversary. Disney did? Yep. I was in a uh, Disney World over summer uh, spring break. Oh, was it the fiftieth of Disney World? Is yeah. I mean, I've never been. To, I've been to Downtown Disney, which is, is not called that anymore. There's um also it's, apparently the like it's been fifty years for the park, but it's been a hundred years for the animation. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, what other conventions are you going to this year? Uh, I'm going to Joe Fest, Heroes Con, the Fayetteville Comic Con, probably Pikeville if they ask me. Um, uh, maybe the Power Comic Con in South Carolina. I think that might be it, unless I come up with... I haven't really been super enthused about traveling long distances for conventions because traveling kind of sucks uh <laughs> gotcha thunder punch visits metropolis uh the law shifts after the stuff from 1978 so it's longer for stuff after that point yeah it's like life plus 70 years after that isn't it <clears throat> So, my cat, she's smart, smarter than my other cat, she's trying to tear open her treat bag. Tear open what bag? Treat, treat bag. Are they bored? I got plenty of toys. Mainly she likes to play with me the most, because my she likes to attack my legs. <clears throat> my cat is uh seven months old so he's uh alternates between very being very affectionate and absolutely insane um oh it just occurred to me that that was babbage oh hi babbage have you been here you know, you, Cam's uh, like purplish logo right there. I wasn't paying attention to the letter. Maybe you all should get some, oh, I don't know, some icons. Do you know how the internet works? Huh? So, uh, thanks for being you know, here. Really. <laughs> yeah, Cam is a cat. Cats still get crazy until they're too old to be crazy. Brian is trained to ignore my symbol. <laughs> now, I, I assumed that Babbage was you. All right, I'm going to switch back to what you're doing here lingering too long on me <laughs> it's 
So you should put some uh, reflected light on the right side when you're done of a different color. If you want to, I'm just throwing that out there. Say it again. You should put some uh, like a, a reflected light coming from the right on the shadow side. Mm -hmm. That would really make her, her pop. Reflective light. So you mean? So like uh, like I did here. See this guy? The light's coming from. Oh wait, sorry. The light is coming from over here. Mm -hmm. But there's a different color light source, like it's bouncing off something else. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if you had like for yours, if you had like a bluish kind of light coming from somewhere over there that was just hitting the outside form. It can be the fourth moon. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Grantish Crosby. Welcome. Welcome to the jungle. <clears throat> I can help myself. Axel Rose had, uh, I don't know who told him he could sing, but you know. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to do this right before I got distracted over there. Let's put that there. Let's take this. Let's do that. Oh, y'all can't see what I'm doing. So just ignore everything that I just said. You all have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, the blue is definitely very nice. Make the armor purple. Love purple. Yeah, yeah. purplish. Thank you. I knew I was missing something. I was like, what is it? And then you said it. I was like, yes, that's it. The bill is in the mail. I take all major credit cards. <clears throat> no, I, I've had such a week because um, every time I'm ready to go, something stops me. Mm -hmm. Like my cat, she wouldn't get out of under the couch. The rule is in the apartment of my roommates. I have to keep her in my room while I'm not home problem mm -hmm. was she was i couldn't get her into the couch yes yes so i got her out finally and i was late for class and at the same time a keg my keg of tea like it's in a giant bottle it fell out of my backpack as i walked out of the door and then you had an 11 year old scared of uh bees oh that was just me Yes, I was scared of bees from when I was 11, too. Oh, yeah. Um... My mom, has my mom talked to your mom yet? Your, your wife? Sorry, my brain. Um, Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I will go bother my mom then, because she says she wants to be friends with your wife. <laughs> I know they have, she has her number, so. Are they not friends? Are you I all not they friends? Were, they are friends. They want to talk about Harry Potter together. No, my mom got a new job lately, so she's just been super busy. Oh, that's right. She was just talking about that. Does Brian's wife have a key? Yes, Kusmedi, she has a key. It's just my son that does not have a key. <laughs> Set up a play date. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will be actually pretty free this summer. So if you want to meet again, I'm down. Okay. You can uh, explain to my son not to be scared of bees. I remember when there was these bugs... I can't remember what they're called now. They're kind of like cicadas, but they like just bump into you and fall down. Oh, the you're talking about the stink bugs? Not the stink bugs. They're like brown and they like come in swarms. Oh, um, yeah, I don't know. I used to mistake them as bees when I was little. 
stink bugs are pretty stupid they'll just fly into stuff and smack and that's how they yeah. land they were pretty big they could like fit in the palm of your hand these bugs hmm i can't remember what they're called but i know they exist because um when i when we were little we thought they were bees but you know um and they would like you know be around the playground but nowadays um i don't see them as often I'm trying to think i don't know oh my printer is decided to wait a minute did you set my printer on fire listen i can't control it i've tried trust me if i can control it i would the government to pay me to stop doing it <laughs> you could hold everybody hostage all right this guy is looking i don't know like something i kind of like him i kind of like the uh, i want his eyes to be like needs to be kind of not blind but yeah i've been uh, playing a lot of elden ring lately oh sorry no elden ring yeah we talked about elden ring last time didn't we yeah it's a good way to work out aggression i've just been playing breath of the wild oh <laughs> Babbage said <laughs> he's updated his avatar to Dylan Bruiser King. <laughs> if you all don't know that reference, go to Film Flam and watch me and Siege's uh, last. Uh... Oh, I got a spam call. Hang on. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, come on. So anyway, yeah, go to Film Flam and watch uh, the Croc thing. And you will know who Dylan Bruiser King is. Uh, have you tried the Xavier Institute for Gifted Children? You know, I wish the Xavier Institution existed. You could control that printer fire ability. Um, Zippy says, time to break your fast. You're going to have beer and pancakes and go on a cert. Oh, and eggs, beer, pancake, and eggs. I thought that was like a, a magnifying glass at first. All right. Have a good one. Enjoy that healthy breakfast. Yum. Or lunch or something. I have not found an alcohol that I like yet. Uh, what have you tried? Uh, you know what? Not much. Um, my sister tried to get me to try a Moscow Mule. Did not like that. Try what? A Moscow Mule. Oh, Moscow oh. Mule. Okay. Um, some beer, champagne, and wine. Yeah, some much. things, some things yeah. require taste. Some people don't never, never really like anything <laughs> me neither and i'm 49 says uh sean an old-fashioned yeah sometimes it's like you'll just find one thing and like my wife only drinks like one or two things here and like very rarely like there's only one beer she likes and we don't find it that often <laughs> Uh, my son walked out the back door and left the door open. So I can... That's not good. He always does that. We, we've had this conversation a lot. Every time he comes in, he never closes it. Uh, you'll save... Yeah, that's right. You'll save a fortune in money, brain cells, and liver health. You accidentally drank a beer when you were five. Never again. You know, when I was 
little, when I was real little, I took a sip of my mom's, my mom's wine. I just mm -hmm. spat it out. Yeah. And I was like, why do adults drink this stuff? Scotch neat. Um, yeah, some, yeah, it's, uh, I, I liked beer the, and whiskey the first time I had each. Although, um, like with wine, some, like if, once you start drinking wine, you'll drink like sweet things like, uh, like a rosé or something. And then if you keep drinking, um, over time, you'll, a lot of people will gravitate towards red wine, which is more bitter. Um, but maybe taste buds are off because beer never tasted good. It depends on what I mean. There's so many different kinds of things to ty types of beer too. Yeah, Japan's got like hundreds of micro breweries. Yeah, yeah. Every everything is a, especially in Greensboro. It's like if you go downtown now, it's like you can't walk five inches without hitting a different craft brewery. It's oh, the thing. That's the thing with the col my college town. Like every five feet, there's a every like everywhere I turn, there's like five breweries in the same area. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're going to drink beer, it has to be Guinness. Oh, that's right. You were telling me that you started uh, drinking that for uh, for your for your kidney stuff. Well, I don't know what this guy is going to be, but I think this was just my warm-up drawing. For uh, can I forward my spam? <laughs> yeah, send them to me. Send them to David Michael Schmidt the third. Oh, I've had jalapeno beer once, and uh, I'm not a big fan of drinks that are hot, spicy. <laughs> That's just weird. Oh, I, I, I went to the, um, the Star Wars experience mm -hmm. and they had this drink that was spicy, but the cup was cool and I wanted it. So I ordered it. I did not like it. It's like it, if it's spicy, it makes you want to like take another sip because you're, it's spicy, but then it's spicy again. And it's like, ugh. my, my dad downed it. Oh. I was like, Dad, I can't drink this. And he's like, fine, drinks it, takes it. All right, let's give this guy some color. That was a lot of fun. I was, um, I joined the first order. Uh, of course. Why wouldn't you? And somehow the Jedi were trying to get me to join them. It was a lot of fun. The first order is very comedic. It's like a lot, it's a lot less serious, but it's pretty funny. <clears throat> is that what is the thing they're closing? Is that like the hotel or something? Supposedly, yeah. It's just rumors, though. <clears throat> I don't remember it being spicy. Try spicy. Oh, mine was spicy. Oh, uh, ch <laughs> chocolate milk is the only drink for Trestle. It's a man's drink. You know, Trestle, same. I. Chocolate milk is always my go-to. Or cocoa. Gonna make this guy more sparkly. Because he's a myst he's a mystical head. He has no body. His beard is full of magic. For some reason. I don't know why. He could probably fit in the Wagon Bridges universe. Oh, let's see. Um, does he pronounce robots guilty, guilty, guilty? He pronounces uh, them innocent and then he, then he kills you. Water will kill you. Everyone who ever drank water died. Think about it. <laughs> Educate yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Everyone that has breathed air has 
who has died has breathed air. Think about it. Where are you seeing this? <laughs> well, Trestle told me about water. Well, if you think about a guru. Swami Paul says, says Dylan Bruiser King. Oh, uh, I'm getting hungry. I am too. So what that means, about time to wrap it up. Sounds good. All right, people. Everybody should go get lunch or whatever. Because I am. Go eat. Hydrate before you dihydrate. Uh, dihydro dihydrogen monoxide pollution. Yeah, good job, Cam. Cam, work on that uh, icon for next time. Babbage did. Babbage took care of it. All right. I'm stopping this nonsense. We're ending this broadcast now. Bye, guys. Peace out. Yeah.